this part of the lesson is on rationalizing a denominator. So I want to do a couple of things. Uh, the first thing I want to do is just remind you about simplifying a square root or a cube root or any type of root. All right, so yesterday we talked about simplifying. So we're going to use this example. All right, so we have a cube root and we're going to simplify that. And to get a negative, we can have all of these negatives. So a negative 3 will come out. Now remember with our exponents, we said 3 goes into 6 twice, and we don't have leftovers. 3 goes into 14 4 times, that would be 12, and we're going to have two left over. So we have b to the square left over. So that was simplifying um, radicals. Okay? So now today, what we want to do is we want to reduce a fraction. Okay? So we're going to take this fraction, and it's in a radical. And we're going to do the square root first. And it's going to be 24a cubed over, uh, let's see, 16. Okay? Now, the first thing you want to try to do is reduce the fraction if possible. Okay? So let's just look. Can I take the square root of 16? Well, let me, let me back up just a minute. And let me explain to you that this can be written separately as the square root of 24a cubed over the square root of 16. Now, that being said, the square root of 16 is a whole number 4. So I can get rid of the square root in the bottom altogether. On the top, I'm going to need to break that 24 down, okay? So if I just break down 24, that's 4 times 6. And I'm going to get a pair of 2's out, but that 6 is going to have to stay in, okay? Now, we do have an A cubed, so a square will go in. I don't know why my paper was enlarging, but my, a square will go in. Uh, to 3 one time so we can get out an A and there's going to be a leftover A. So this is going to be my solution. Okay? Alright, so let's see if I can get out of that. <laughs> Alright. So, the next thing I want to show you is when we have um, a fraction and we can't maybe break it down or simplify it as much as we would like. Okay, so let's just look. Uh, we're going to use the cube root this time. And we'll do 24a to the 6 over 125. Okay? Now, cube root means we have to have three of a kind. So let's break down that 24, okay? The 24 would be 4 and 6, 2 and 2, and 2 and 3. So I do have three 2s. All right, on the top, I'm able to get out a 2. On the inside, I'm going to have a 3. All right, now let's take care of our variable. 3 goes into 6 twice. So I can get all the A's out. Now on bottom, we can break that down into 25 times 5, and then break that into 5 times 5. So I do have three 5's. Okay? So this is our solution. Now, let's look at something maybe more simple, but we have to be able to rationalize... The denominator.
okay? Now, if we have a fraction that ends up like this, let's say we have a, a problem and they asked us to simplify it, okay? You cannot leave the radical in the denominator, okay? So can't leave radical, whatever that is, in the denominator. So we have to do what's called rationalizing it. All right, so to rationalize a denominator, multiply top and bottom by its let's say in this case by radical okay it'll be different if we get an expression but right now we just got a single term down there so to get rid of the denominator inside the radical we're just going to use it to multiply by now, notice I am multiplying the top and the bottom by the square root of 2. That just means I'm multiplying this fraction by 1, because anything over itself is 1, okay? On top, I'm going to get the square root of 6. On bottom, I have 2 of a kind, and it comes out. So this would be my rationalized solution to this expression, okay? Can't leave the radical in the bottom. All right, so let's just do Okay, so we're going to simplify another one. Let's look at um, the square root of 192 k to the 4 over 64. Okay? So let's see if we can say 194 divided by 64 and simplify that fraction. So actually that comes out to a whole number 3. So if we go 192 divided by 64, that gives us a whole number 3. Now I did this math within the radical, so I haven't gotten rid of the radical yet. All right, now I can't take the square root of 3. It's a prime number. However, I can get out 2k's, okay? So we have k squared, square root of 3, all right? So let's try something else. Let's try the square root of 25 r squared t over 36. All right, now 25 and 36 are perfect squared numbers. So I could simplify these to go outside the radical, okay? Now, the square goes into r squared once, so we can get an r out, but we are left with that t on the inside. So I could get out my numbers, square root of 25 is 5, square root of 36 is 6. I just couldn't get rid of my variable, all my variables, okay? All right, so let's look at another example. And this time, um, we are going to have to rationalize the denominator. So let's look at square root of 7x over the square root of 5x to the 5th. Okay, all right, now my x's can simplify. So if I divide like bases, we subtract exponents, right? And so if I have 1x on top and 5x's on bottom, that will leave me with 4x's on bottom. And my x on top goes away. All right, now x to the fourth is a perfect squared, so I can get out x squared. 
I still haven't been able to get do anything with my ver radicals. We cannot leave the square root of 5 in the denominator, so we have to do what's called rationalizing it. So remember, we multiply by the radical to remove it. Okay, so I need to multiply by the square root of 5 on the top and the bottom. That will get rid of my radical in the bottom, and that number comes out. And I will multiply the radicals up top. And that is my answer. Okay. I do want to show you one other type of problem because you're going to have these. So we would have something like this. All right. To rationalize the denominator for this one, You multiply by the conjugate. Let's talk about what a conjugate is. If I have 3 plus the square root of 2, its conjugate is 3 minus the square root of 2. Same expression, I just changed the sign. Okay, so we're going to multiply by this conjugate. Square root of 5, instead of plus, we're going to use minus 1. So we're going to multiply by this on top and on bottom. So that means we're going to distribute here. 3 square root of 7 times square root of 5 is 3 square root of 35. 3 square root of 7 times negative 1 is a negative 3 square root of 7. Okay. Now, on the bottom, we talked about earlier when we multiplied, when we multiply the plus and the minus of the same thing, the middle goes away. But we're going to multiply it out. So square root of 5 times square root of 5 is square root of 25. Square root of 5 times negative 1 is negative square root of 5. 1 times the square root of 5 is the square root of 5. And 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. Now notice in the middle you have the plus and the minus of square root of 5. They cancel each other out. And the square root of 25 is actually a whole number 5. So look at my denominator. I now have a whole number in my denominator with no radicals. That's what rationalizing the denominator does. It gets rid of any radicals. So down here, up on the top, we have 3 square root of 35 minus 3 square root of 7. They're not alike, so we can't add them. And on the bottom, we have 5 minus 1, which is 4. So this is the simplified solution for this fraction. Okay, I want to try to get another one in. We'll see if I can. All right, we're going to go 7x times um, 3 plus the square root of 2. Well, let's just make that a minus, okay? All right, notice I have a radical in the denominator, and it's in a, an expression. So this means I have to multiply by its conjugate. So if you have 3 minus square root of 2, its conjugate looks the same, only we got a different sign, 3 plus the square root 2. So that's what we're going to multiply by on top and on bottom. So 7x times 3 is 21x. 7x times square root of 2 is 7x square root of 2. All right, now remember, the middle goes away in the denominator. So 3 times 3 is 9. And then we have negative square root of 2 times positive square root 2, which is a negative 2. So we get 21x plus 7x square root of 2 over 7. Now, both of these uh, outside numbers, all of them reduced by 7. So we actually can simplify that to this expression.